Hi, I'm Larissa, and welcome to this edition of Digital Show and Tell, where today I am covering the smallest member of the ChipKit family, the ChipKit PGM. To understand how the ChipKit PGM is so powerful, it's important to know first the difference between a ChipKit and a ChipKit Pro. ChipKit is Digilent's brand of microcontroller products. All ChipKits are based around the microchip PIC32 architecture, and they're compatible with both MPIDE and MPLabX. They also feature USB programming that is built onto the board. MPIDE is a simplified programming interface that's based off of the Arduino IDE and uses wiring as a programming language. MPLabX, on the other hand, is a professional development environment offered by Microchip, and it features industry standard programming languages. ChipKit boards come in a wide variety of form, fit, and function. It's really targeted to users who are wanting to focus on the application. That's either on you know, rapid prototyping or trying to put together a project or maybe learning electronics, where a simplified IDE is not only useful but actually preferred, and that's what MP IDE is. On the other hand, ChipKit Pro boards are more microcontroller-centric application. This is where users really want to focus on the architecture of the chip or really want to focus on the programming of the microcontroller. It's in these applications where a user might need more control over the particular microcontroller or need more control over the programming that a industry standard IDE like MPLab X is preferred. To use MPLab X, you need to actually have a debugging circuit. On ChipKit Pro boards, you'll actually notice it's built onto the board. On regular ChipKit boards, you'll see that there is no debugging circuit, and that's where the ChipKit PGM comes in. The ChipKit PGM is a licensed debugger that can turn any of your ChipKit boards into a ChipKit Pro by adding that debugging circuit. If you look at any of our ChipKit boards, you'll notice a row of six offset holes. This is so you can plug a ChipKit PGM into the board without having to solder. Once you have the ChipKit PGM connected to the board, then you can connect it to MPLabX and gain access to all the extra features that you didn't have available in MPIDE. Alternatively, if you want a debugger that can work with any microchip product, not just the ch digital ChipKit boards, you might opt for a little more expensive official debugger for microchips, such as the PICKIT 3. It uses the same six pins that the PGM does and offers a little more control over things such as programming voltages or maybe setting specific signaling points on communication protocols. Today, what's available on our website, we have the PICKIT 2, but this is quickly going to be replaced by the more um, modern and more up-to-date version, the PICKIT 3. So in summary, you can use the ChipKit PGM and add it to any of your ChipKit boards and turn it into a ChipKit Pro board. So that wraps up this edition of Digilent Show and Tell, and until next time. To use MPLab X, you need to have a debuggering circuit. Debuggering. <laughs> OK. Hey, so if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to click up there to subscribe or click down there to watch some more videos. Don't forget to check out our website, www.digilentinc.com. And thanks for watching.